Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is episode number 10 of the failed psionic uh, rush in the series of Please de uh, Save My Disastrous Campaigns. I'm your host Saiken and we're going to uh, head into this landed UFO. I want to make sure that this is indeed really the second last mission. Uh, I've assembled the B team, like the better team, got all of the lieutenants uh, that aren't in our alpha team, so we um, can make sure, irregardless if they are being wounded or not, we can still do the next mission, um, which is going to be the last one. Um, uh, it's going to be an invasion of the South American uh, facility, just to set everything straight. If we are successful on both of these missions, I will leave a safe game with uh, squad size upgrade 2, um, a lot of uh, research, actually many 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 good soldiers and an, in my perspective excellent position to continue this legendary Iron, uh, Iron Man run. Um, from my perspective the safe game is definitely unstuck and we sh uh, everyone with the necessary level of skill should have no problem um, playing it from that point onwards and just actually finishing the legendary campaign. But before we are there, uh, that uh, beautiful, beautiful point of having made it, um, I would want to do this mission and then afterwards the um, facility. As always, we're not in a hurry. We need to pick our first battle wisely. Once we've started it, the timer will start. That's, by the way, the first pack there, right there. We don't have any high ground here. Which kind of leads me to believe we might need to put the sniper in a normal cover position. Okay, so two two squads at the same time. Moving out. Go, go, go. Let's see if both uh, if both of them are a patrol or if one of them is stationary. It seems these guys here are stationary. Understood. Moving out. I have eyes on the enemy. Seems that these guys here are also stationary. But I feel confident taking on these two packs at once. It's just a matter of how we're going to pull them. Plus, As you order, Commander. I'm secretly hoping that if we pull this pack here, that I could kill both because they are standing next to the car, which is probably not really realistic. Might as well just kill the one and remain hidden. I think that's a good point. Our world is dangerous. Haven't been spotted out because we're still very much hidden. Not sure where exactly the enemy wants to go, because technically the enemy wouldn't know where we are.
that's not a bad start. I actually like the idea of killing, you know, of killing the uh, specter over here. These guys will take cover, and that's okay. The Spectre has the duty to kill... Uh, the Reaper has the duty to kill the Spectre. There we go, easy peasy. This here is taking away the cover and with it giving us free shots. Not sure if we can kill both of them, but we can definitely severely wound one. I don't want to use the mimic beacon yet. Eh, that is a very unfortunate miss. Again, still don't want to use the mimic beacon yet. Well, look who just joined the party! It's the assassin. Let's remind ourselves she can be very well shell shocked for extra damage. She has an uh, adversary against reapers, takes extra damage. Perfect, we have one with us. Can summon beasts, is completely immune to melee damage, and is not affected by overwatch shots. You will never see it. Heads up out there. It's the Elder's assassin, and she's moving into the AO. Of course. We're being hit in full cover. Go weaker with every yeah. Menace one five. We just picked up an outbound signal coming from the UFO. It's some kind of distress beacon. You need to get inside that ship and shut down the signal before they send their whole fleet after us. Moving out. So this year, hopefully. Oh, well, it's not exactly. It, it wasn't exactly 100%, but it was good enough. So healing mad dog here. And finishing the officer. We do have a stock, so it's dealing two damage even if we're not hitting. Must I do everything myself? I go where you tell me. Pretty sure the chosen one landed here. And it's not uncommon for the chosen. I am at your service. To actually start moving around and directly approaching our um, our soldiers. Question is, which way is she going to choose? Definitely dangerous to leave her unchecked. Okay, so somewhere 
here or here is a good place to actually hack. Okay, I'm still concerned about the Chosen. Good copy. Moving on target. Got it covered. Let's do this. I'm on it. She's probably going to approach this round. Overwatch, unfortunately, doesn't really help. And that's the problem, but I mean, she gets the first strike in many, many cases, unless we do have, a, um, unless we do have a scanning protocol. soldiers is down they're vulnerable to the chosen's attacks in that state get them back on their feet asap really Shot wide. wow i go where i am needed you should be more careful Okay. Oh, really? Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. Also, it's unfortunate that we're just shy of the explosion. I leave the car untouched, though. Maybe we need to uh, explode it soon So this here should trigger and deal damage twice. Keep in mind she is vulnerable against these attacks. It's 24 damage right there. Double damage from the... Ch uh, uh, from... <laughs> Double damage? Okay, I know I do understand. Double damage from uh, the Reaper and double damage from explosives. So that's um, 24 points of damage just from the one explosive. Oh, she's immune against melee. Never mind. That's at least two points of damage. Good enough. We will see about half hearted. No problem, boss. There's still this shotgun. Still half hearted, bitch. Yeah, we showed her who's boss. That That's indeed what we did.
All right. So moving a bit closer, again, let's not trigger too many other packs. So I need to double check if we can actually get in here. No, we can't. I'll take care about defusing this. We leave the pack there. And instead move over here. No shit, Sherlock. You did not get it. I really wouldn't have seen that. Okay, so this could finally finish the robot. Make us down. And I'm not going to use another, uh, our only beacon so far. Oh, nice. Come on, crit. Oh, yeah. Good job. It's probably going to use stasis. Oh, mind control. That's even better. Let's miss the 96%. Okay, cool. We're going to kill it 100% because we got a stock. Taking the workstation. Stress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. The shadows fail us. All right, Overwatch. I'm pretty sure we're going to get company very, very soon. Overwatch. Now. My watch begins. 
We know the last pack's here. I just need to get in position. I'm going. Scanning. My turn on watch. Don't give so. We're green to go into Overwatch. Hasn't triggered anyone. Go, go, go. Got it covered. I won't let them pass. Affirmative. Covering them on it. Good. Let's move in our sniper next. This is most likely going to trigger. Cover myself. Well, not the best chance, but still okay. Hair trigger free action. Let's continue. Still got this one grenade left, right? Will it really get rid of the cover? That's the question. I'm hoping that it will get rid of uh, the cover. At least it's going to shred the mutant completely. The answer, by the way, was it did not get rid of the cover. Very unfortunate. Unlucky here. Not good. All right, these two will go for the mimic beacon, and that's fine. Maybe we're eating a grenade or a melee attack. Yeah, let's see. Inherent problem with mutants. Their melee attacks are pretty bad. By the way, Revival Protocol has just saved that situation. I don't know if you noticed, but the healing spec is actually really good.
Got a nice little Illyrium for. Kill the second Muton. Maybe we're even going to use a flashbang. Yeah, I'm not going to kill it. Maximizing our action economy by taking a shot and then throwing the flashbang. And let's hope that the AI doesn't artificially try to kill the ranger. The thing should go for uh, for our um, specialist. Or it just double moves randomly and there's nothing. Which of course is a very legitimate uh, option as well. Moving into cover. Beautiful, beautiful hit. Happy now. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Okay, not as easy as I thought, but it was also classified as a very difficult mission. Okay, so we have probably not gained a single promotion, but that's okay. Let's see what kind of loot we got. The elders chosen are incredibly resilient. Despite our victory over them today, we still have So almost 100 alien alloys, 50 elerium, so that brings us to 100 elerium and another 150 uh, supplies plus a couple of mutant corpses. Uh, we have more trooper corpses, which means we maybe even are able to to build heavy mechs. Which means we have together. enough to Yeah, we could theoretically build a spark, but whatever. Um, yeah, we're missing still trooper corpses for the exosuit. That's the only thing uh, that we need. Uh, by the way, uh, keep in mind also here the Shadow Keeper and the Bolt uh, Hunter, uh, the Hunter's X are very, very good. Once we do have more Commander. money, we should be fine. For now, I think we're going to stick with the advanced uh, grenade launcher. The extra range, extra damage, extra um, size of explosion, all of that is just extra good. There is yet another scientist. Great. Look at that, enough alloys, enough Illyrium, just a bit short on supplies, but we're soon going to have the next supply drop. Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. Okay, there is another alien facility, but that's okay. I mean, I'm I'm going to reduce the progress by four very soon. Our new income, thanks to the towers, also is very high, 430. So making sure that that's good it helps no us as well, of course. Yeah, I'm just getting going to go for the scientist. I'm I'm not actually finishing this scan. We're going to go for the last mission very soon. Um, just waiting until this here is done. Our 
There is the promotion. Right there. I hope you've got room for one more. You made an impression on one of my vets. They've decided to come serve on that ship of yours. Nice. So let's take a look. I mean Honestly, at this point, I would start looking uh, to build up the first factions, which means we're going to... There's yet another Reaper, by the way. The one that we just received. So as I was saying, I would just um, put soldiers in here. Continue to put uh, Praetor Mox on these missions. It's even the mission with three slots. There's a chance for an ambush, but three of them should be more than capable of um, managing the, the ambush. We will walk hand in hand with our new allies. Good. Just need the blue screen rounds and the supply drop. Um, the supply drop to buy uh, the uh, the squad size upgrade too, which we now technically can buy. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Great. We got the blue screen rounds. That's very helpful. Next topic, uh, next project is plasma grenade. We already got everything in the queue, so we just need to work on the queue. So there is the second, um, the second alien ruler. Remember, the first one was up here. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. And that's a successful month. Just really successful. Commander, but your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have Probably the next world. thing that I would do on this run is actively Commander. go for the chosen. A few more pieces to this little puzzle, and I'll be there before you know it. Next month the there are not even going to be any dark events. Us, that's One of them cute. Is closer than ever. This here is fine. I think we're Good. Avenger plotting new course. And this here is getting us some much needed supplies. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. Beautiful, we got an inspired version of Valerium, which we're definitely going to take. Um, after Elarium, I would go for the Plasma Rifles, uh, so you have the newest weapon category at hand. Um, 150 supplies. I'm not sure, is that enough to, build, uh, to buy? Yeah, there we go. There is Squad Size 2, which I promised. And yeah, by promoting the soldier, definitely we're going to go for Reflect. Such a nice ability. And we're also definitely going for Deep Focus. Another nice ability. Well, this is a beautiful soldier. What these recruits lack in experience, they make up for in grit. Let's shortly train our soldiers so that the Prime team is ready. I think there can be an argument made that Death from Above is a very good skill. Uh, I think holo targeting is arguably even more important. Scanning protocol isn't bad. Maybe if we have enough points left over. These here are genius, but way too expensive. We can't, um, we can't do them. Uh, can't use them at the moment. This here isn't bad either. I mean, 
Remote start, yes. Silent killer, yes. L larger explosion rad uh, radius, yes. Like all of that is pretty good. Uh, Holo targeting is a bit counterintuitive because you usually want to finish with um, uh, with uh, him and not start. Deadeye on the other hand is helpful because you deal more damage. However, I would still prefer Needle. Um, or the tactical rigging so that that soldier here can take blue screen rounds you know what probably that's the better choice also there are enough options to scale this soldier i, th I think that shadow um, is a bit better but it's only marginal you can play it either way. So, going back to uh, the original point, we're taking holder targeting because it's really good. And can we still afford uh, this here? I mean, we could afford barely to take it. Scanning protocol isn't bad. Um, Guardian is actually also not bad for a sniper by thinking about it. Taking multiple shots with your gun, pretty decent. Death from above is better, but Guardian isn't bad either. So it's either between Guardian or Scanning Protocol. And because I want to teach the person that owns uh, this um, the safe game a lesson, I will invest specifically in the specialist. Scanning Protocol is actually really, really good helps you against chrysalids that are borrowed. It helps you against uh, the chosen assassin uh, because it uh, points her out. It helps you against the specters because you can point them out after they vanished. So, and you can scout even if you don't have a reaper with scanning protocol. And you have two charges and it only costs one action unit. So, I mean, if you're not convinced after that many arguments, you will probably never buy into the specialist class. We're still farming this here because uh, we need money for blue screen rounds. Power relay now operational. Yeah, we got ourselves a nice uh, little setup here. You could easily uh, continue and, and, and get the upgrades. That's not a problem. Probably I would go for um, uh, resistant contacts uh, next. So we got ourselves some beautiful um, funds. So one, two, three, and I think we can use a, let me check how many blue screen rounds do we actually need. Um, we need one for the sharpshooter, one for the grenadier, one for the specialist, and one for the ranger. Reaper and Templar don't need them, arguably. Well, we can, technically we can also use it for the Reaper. Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. Anyways, let's sell. Um, That's 140. Uh, we keep them for the mine shields. Or for the mimic beacon. Maybe we're building a second mimic beacon as well. Just thinking.
Okay. But thinking about it, maybe we're building another uh, Hello, Mimic Beacon. Build items. 100 plus blue screen rounds. We're missing 15. Yeah, second Mimic Beacon is better than just going, uh, going completely for blue screen rounds. The aliens have effectively cured all of humanity's greatest ailments. Cancer, malaria, AIDS. The process is relatively simple. As long as you're compliant. Yes. The price of admission is acceptance of all Advent policies. Alright, so Mimic Beacon, yes. Blue screen rounds, yes. I'm beginning to see and I am to going to prepare the team for the last mission, which is going to end this beautiful run here. Um, I noticed that this facility here um, went down to only two bleeps, but it's better than nothing. Setting course for so we're going to cut it uh, short. There's still the Black Side facility um, as an additional mission, so it's no problem at all. Let me prepare the mission and then we're going to see each other in the last part of this um, Saving Your Disastrous campaign. Um, thank you for watching and have a great evening.